Breaking news, a deadly beach collapse in Southern California. That is the scene right there in Encinitas, which is outside of San Diego, where a cliff gave way, sending tons, tons of sandstone down onto the beachgoers below at a popular surfing beach. Three people dead, two injured. The images from that area are poignant. You can see the beach chairs, the surfboards and the shoes just left behind right near that fallen debris. For more on this breaking story, let's go to Kaylee Hartung, who is right there on the scene this morning. Good morning, Kaylee. Good morning, Eva. This morning, this beach remains closed after beachgoers were caught in the middle of a tragic scene on a sunny Friday afternoon. It happened without warning. This is a very, very tragic event that we're all dealing with today. No one woke up thinking this would happen. An oceanfront bluff suddenly collapsing on the beach in Encinitas, California, killing three people and injuring two others. It's just horrifying that the people underneath were there in the wrong moment. Beach chairs, surfboards and shoes left behind as people rushed to escape the crumbling hillside. Everybody goes down on the beach every day and people I saw people crying because they're like, well, I was just down there 10 minutes. Officials on the scene within four minutes. We have three immediate patients. Uh, we can use the bath tower down here. We still have uh, one trap. Closing part of a major freeway to land a life flight helicopter for the critically injured. One woman died on the beach, two others succumbed to their injuries at the hospital. This material is very, very heavy. You can't move it unless you have heavy equipment. Heavy equipment was brought in to meticulously dig through debris, stacking 10 feet tall. The search for additional victims called off as night fell and the tide rose. Conditions too dangerous to continue. A second collapse feared. We see bluff collapse are fairly common. Um, probably, I'm going to say, uh, I'll guess four to eight per year. Nothing of this magnitude, but we have had some in the past. Officials calling this a naturally occurring event. You heard it there. Four to eight of these types of collapses happen a year, but usually they're not this large in scale. The beachgoers are warned daily by lifeguards to stay a safe distance from the bluffs. Authorities reminding people that safe distance is 25 to 40 feet. Wit. Good information. Such a sad story. Kaylee, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.